KFG family, it's your boy Bibo John 25 and tonight I'm going to go over my WWE Raw review and highlights so you guys can do. Drop a like on this video, share the video, and let's get started. Tonight's WWE Raw opens up, opens up on the USA Network with the standard intro video. We're live from the empty WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida as Tom Phillips welcomes us. He hypes tonight's appearance by WWE Champion Drew McIntyre sends us to a video package on Drew's big win over Brock Lesnar over WrestleMania 30, 36 night night two. We go we go right to the ring. Now comes WWE Champion Drew McIntyre as Mike Rum does the introductions. Tom is Tom is joined by WWE Hall of Famer Jerry Lawler on commentary. Drew calls calls the cameraman in the ring and speaks to the fans again. He thanks them also on behalf of the other WWE superstars of the privilege of allowing them into their living rooms. He he also mentions the positive internet feedback. Drew says it's all surreal. It it's his lifelong dream. It's surreal he beats the beast the the beast in under five minutes and he and it's surreal. That is that that this happened twenty minutes later. He showed us how he defeated Big Show which aired last last week's Raw main event. Drew says this is his first time watching the match back. Drew goes on about being show with a with the Claymore kick. Drew says he beats Lesnar and then Big Show back to back setting the time for how he will be going forward. He says he will be a different kind of champion. Drew says this is his this is his mission statement as champion. If you if you other superstars deserve a, a shot at the title, you will get one. He 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 can't quite articulate how much the title means to him, but the music interrupts and out comes WWE United States champion Andrade with Selena Vega. Andrade is back from his rib injuries. Vega introduced introduced Andrade as the real champion of Raw. Vega and Drew have some words. Vega says they just wanted to come out and congratulate Drew because who else can say they had two WrestleMania moments? Vega says while Drew was having his moments, her escort 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 suffered an injury that robbed him of his. Um, Vega says it would be a shame if someone injured Drew and took his title coming off his big night. Drew recalls the last time they focused on how it cost him six months from his career. Drew says if Andrade wants this match, champion versus champion, then he got it. Then he got it tonight. Andrade finally speaks and says last time he took Drew's title, he took Drew out of action and tonight there will be no more senior nice guy. Drew takes takes off his coat and readies for a fight while while Andrade um, shakes his shakes his head no. Andrade and Vega head to the back as Andrade's music hits. Drew lays down the title in front of him and tells Andrade to bring it while looking on from his knees. Tom and Lawler are also drawn by Byron Saxon at the announcer table. They hype tonight's Money in the Bank qualifying matches. Sarah Logan vs. Shanna Baszler, Oscar vs. Ruby Riot, and Kyrie Sane vs. Nia Jack. Also appearing tonight is WWE Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch. We see Oscar backstage warming up as Kari Sane cheers her on. Back to commercial. Back for the break and Tom confirms the champion confirms the champion versus the champion in the untitled main event for later. Money in the Bank qualifying match. Um, Oscar versus Ruby Riot. This match was decent. Don't get me wrong. My pick was Ruby Riot to win money. My pick was Ruby Riot to qualify Money in the Bank for the women's um, Money in the Bank pay-per-view. At, at Money in the Bank. Anyway, we go back to the ring for tonight's first match. And our first comes Oscar by herself. We see the Money in the Bank briefcase hanging up, hanging up above. There are also ladders all over the Performance Center. Our next comes, our next comes Ruby Wright for our first red brand Money in the Bank qualifying match. The Beverly Center have words. Wright offers, offers for a handshake, but Oscar takes control to start. Wright turns it around and Oscar tries and talks more trash. 
Riot responds with a shoulder block. Asuka strikes her and Riot all lows. Riot fights back and drops Asuka for a two count. Riot pushes Asuka around and talks trash. Asuka goes to work on the left arm and now working on it while keeping Asuka down. Asuka grounds Riot. Asuka keeps control and works Riot over in the corner as the referee warns her. Riot fights Asuka off, but Asuka rocks her with a big kick in the corner. Asuka covers for a two count. Asuka rounds Riot shoulder first into the and turn the turnbuckle. Asuka keeps Riot down in the corner with a boot. Asuka continues to beat Riot around and be right around and use the middle rope on her while the referee wants her. Asuka keeps control and end up sending Riot out to the floor with a hip attack. Asuka with a big knee from the apron, on the apron to, the, to the floor. Asuka follows, but Riot launches her over the burial while the referee counts. Asuka kicks Riot from the other side of the burial and drops her with drops her at ringside. Asuka stands on the top of the burial and dances around, taunting Riot while she's down. Back to commercial. Back from the break, and Asuka continues to dominate in the ring, slamming Ru Ruby to the mat. Ruby ends up, I mean, sorry, Riot ends up getting Asuka stuck in the middle rope, then kicking her, at, kicking her, and then sending her out to the floor. Um, Riot brings it back to. Brings it back into the ring for a two count. Riot with more strikes while keeping Asuka down in the middle of the ring. Asuka drops Riot with a running forearm out of the corner. They 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 get to their knees and Asuka strikes first. Back to back to their feet and Riot works Asuka over. Um, Riot drops Asuka for a two count in the middle of the ring. Asuka takes down takes Riot down and keeps control. Asuka with a two count. Asuka with the ankle lock after blocking a riot kick. Asuka goes on and hits a German suplex but can't put her away. Asuka can with a shiny whip for a close two count. Riot blocks the Asuka lock by ramming Asuka back into the turnbuckles. Riot with a running kick to the head in the corner. Riot runs back into the corner and rocks Asuka again. Riot with a big running close line to the back of the head for a close two count. Two count. Riot goes to the second turnbuckle for a back elbow drop, but Asuka moves and she lands lands hard. They trade moves and, and pin attempts on the mat. Asuka is angry now. Riot fights off a German, German attempt. Riot drops Asuka with a flatliner for a close two count. Riot goes right into the submission attempt. More back and forth as they tangle on the mat. Asuka goes into the Asuka lock and makes Riot tap out for the for the submission win. The winner of the match, Asuka. I really want Ruby Riot to win. I know Tim really down below in the comment section that he wants Ruby Riot to win as well. But you know, it is what it is. After the match, Asuka is going going to our first Money in the Bank match. The music hits as we goes to replay. Charlie Caruso interviews Asuka in the ring and asks if she's if she were going if she were getting a more aggressive side of her of late. Oscar rants like usual and says something about how money in the bank isn't ready for her. Back to still to come, Alistair Black will be in action. Back to commercial. Back on the break and MVP MVP is in the backstage area with a special quick edition of the P Lounge, which is garbage by the way. He announced three money in the bank qualifying matches for the next month for next month Monday night. Next Monday, Rey Mysterio vs. Murphy, Alistair Black vs. Austin Theory, and Apollo Crews vs. MVP. What did MVP do to, to get a match against Apollo Crews? I don't know. It don't make no sense. Oh, 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 Lord King vs. Alistair Black. This, this match was fantastic. Uh, we go back to the ring, and out comes Alistair Black, WWE, NXT, Superstar, oh, 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 oh on a lurking, waist in the ring. The bell rings and they go at, and they go at it to start. Trading holds. Lorkin takes Black down to the mat. They tango back to their feet and, and Lorkin gets in more offensive. Black turns it around and hits some of his signature moves. Black with more strikes. Black ends up kick ends up kicking Lorkin out of the ring. Lorkin lands hard to the floor and Black stands. In the, in the ring as we go back to commercial. Back the break, Lorkin's going at it with Black in the ring. Black fights off a half and half suplex, but Lorkin comes right back and drops him. Lorkin with a pin attempt. Black fights off a, fights off a full Nelson again. 
but black brings him to his knees. Black goes down as Larkin applies a single leg crap. Larkin fights off a knee knee bar and breaks it with the bottom rope. Larkin with strikes back black counters and brings Larkin down into the arm bar. Larkin escapes and they get back to the, their feet. Larkin with a huge chop to the chest. Black kicks him out, kicks kicks him back. Black drops Larkin with a forearm with a forearm shots. Black with a strike and a leg sweep. Black with a knee strike. Larkin avoids the moonsault. Rocks Black with a big close for a two count. Larkin goes for the hells of house and have suplex again, but blocks him. Blocks roll him into a two count. Larkin with more big chops and he's and he screams at Black. Black jumps up with a huge knee strike to the face. Black picks Larkin up with his with his boot and nails the match for the pin to win. The winner of the match, Alice Black. After the match, Black sits up, sits up as his kids. We go to replay. Sarah, Sarah, Screamer, Screamer interviews Black in the Black in the ring after the match. She asks about next next week's money to bring qualifying against Austin Three and his game plan. Black says his game plan is to win. Black walks off as his music hits. Still to come, the man is here. Back to commercial. Back from the break. And then after tonight's show, we get a look. Back at Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch beating Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania 36 to retain. We go back to Rian, now comes Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch as the announcers talk about her one year reign as champion. This was a good promo by Becky Lynch. This was a great promo. Becky takes the mic and talks about retaining over Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania 36. Becky tells Baszler that this was a battle of the of the mind, not heart, not heart versus skill like she had said before the match. Becky goes on about possibly playing mind games with Baszler going into the match. Becky says someone who was born to bully everyone would never beat someone who was born to survive any everything. Bringing her to the Money in the Bank ladder match. Becky says she's here to challenge whoever wins the contract. She says she always has a plan, but, but she promised whoever wins Money in the Bank thinks they say can be her. She will shock the world one more time. Becky drops the mic and raises the title as title anywhere any air as her music is to the promo. Still come two more women's money bank qualifying matches. Charlie Caruso is backstage with Selena Vega and the WWE United States champion Andrade. Char Caruso asks about the nice champion versus the champion main event. Vega interrupts and down and down plays WWE champion Drew McIntyre as being a cause of concern for Andrade. Vega says Drew had a great night at WrestleMania. But Adrani has been defending his title month after month after month against the best WWE has to offer. Vega says the last time Drew was Drew was champion, he was dethroned. He was death thrown by Adrani. Adrani says a few words to taunt Drew before they walk off. Back to commercial. Back from the break, and the announcers congratulate show on the success of Netflix new. The Netflix, Netflix new the Big Show show the Big Show show series. Money in the Bank qualifying match is Sarah Logan versus Shannon Baszler. This match, this match didn't even last too long, but the way that Shannon Baszler stopped on Sarah Logan's arm, it it, it it was just brutal. That was a brutal spot. We go to the ring, I, go to the ring first, and out comes Sarah Logan. She stops and takes a look at the ladders in the arena. Uh, Sarah Scre Screeber. Is backstage with Shanna Basil now. She asks Basil if she if she's here to recent comments by her friend Ronda Rousey. Basil just stares at Screamer and, and heads out for the next Money in the Bank qualifier. The bell rings and they lock up. Logan strikes first. Basil strikes back with a huge forearm short to the face, dropping Logan. Um, Baszler mounts Logan and pounds on her now, controlling her on the mat. The referee has to pull Baszler off of Logan. Baszler goes right back over and stomps on Logan's arm. The referee checks on Logan as Baszler watches from the corner. The referee calls for calls the match. The winner by disqualification, Sarah Logan. The winner chart cha the the winner changed to Shanna Baszler later. After the after the bell, Baszler storms out of the other ring and throws a chair. Logan is checked on by the referee and the WWE producer Adam Pierce. We get a replay of the stomp to Logan's elbow. Logan cries and sells the injury as she is helped from the helped from the ring. 
Tom wonders if Rome got the winner announcement wrong, if he was supposed to announce Beto as the winner instead. Seth Rollins is backstage. Steph Rollins is backstage. He says he lost to Kevin Owens at WrestleMania Thursdays, and once again, his career has been certified. certified. That's all he said. Back to commercial. Back from the break, and the announcers confirmed that Shayna Baszler won the Money in the Bank qualifier. He says the WWF side have, will have the, an update on Sarah Logan's condition later on. Akira Tozawa versus Austin Theory. This match was good. This match was good. Back from the break. Back, back. I'm sorry. I, I sorry about that. Uh, we go back to the ring, and out comes Akira Tozawa. Selena Vega is on the commentator now. Another one of Vega's business associates is out next. Austin Theory. The bell rings, and Theory punts Tozawa down first, t- talking trash. Tozawa fights back, but Theory grabs him. Tozawa counters and comes back with the kick, sending Theory into the corner. Tozawa charged in the corner with strikes, but Theory drops him into the top rope. Theory takes Tozawa back down and delivers a double stomp to the gut. Theory taunts Tozawa while stomping him, stomping him into the corner. Theory keeps control and mounts Tozawa with strikes. Theory keeps Tozawa grounded with a chin like in the middle of the ring. Tozawa gets a foot on the, on the bottom rope to break the hole, but Theory uses the five count. Theory keeps control and rocks Tozawa back in the corner. Tozawa whoops to Theory whip. Austin Theory whips us all across the ring and he hits hard into the turnbuckles. Ground, going back down. Theory with a two count. Tozawa tries to miles offense, but Theory drops him and drop, drops him and drops him, him for another pin attempt. Theory grounds Tozawa and talks more trash again. Put on the focus on the arm as Tozawa screams out. Tozawa fights from the but Theory knocks him into the corner. NXT Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is confirmed for later tonight. Theory with with a snap suplex for another close two count. Theory keeps Tozawa grounding on the mat, mat again. Theory Theory with a backbreaker for for a pin attempt. Theory goes back. I'm sorry. Theory goes right back. Keeps Tozawa grounded. Tozawa fights up again, and this time it's a hurricanrana. Send Theory out. Theory comes back to the apron. But Tozawa kicks him, kicks back the floor. Tozawa go, Tozawa goes to leap out, but Theory retreats. Tozawa runs the apron and nails a big senton, sending Theory into the burial. Vega looks worried on the commentator now. Tozawa keeps control and brings back, brings it back in. Tozawa, um, yeah, Tozawa kicks Theory in the head from the apron, as he charges with a strike. Tozawa goes to the top and nails a missile drop kick for a two count. Tozawa grabs Theory from the behind, but Theory fights him off. Tozawa with a jab. Tozawa with an octopus submission in the middle of the ring now. Theory overpowers and lifts Theory, bringing him down into the ATO for the pin to win. The winner of the match, Austin Theory. This match was fantastic. After the match, Theory stands tall as his music hits. We go to replay. The WWE United States Champion Andrade and Andrew Garza join Theory in the ring as they do a show of Soto, Soto Terry. They triple team to Zoa now as Vega applaud, uh, applauds while standing on the top of the announcer table. Theory, Vega, and Andrade raise their fists together again as Theory music hits. Looking down at Tozawa, laughing at him. Vega looks on from the next step as we get another replay. The referee checks on Tozawa as Theory, Garza, and Andrade mock him. Still to come, Charlotte Flair is here. Back to commercial. Back from the break, announcers hype champion versus champion later tonight. We see, we also get a clip from the new WWE, Charlotte, WWE, um, Charlotte, Corona documentary on Drew McIntyre. Um, the announcers hi- hype next week's Money in Bank qualifiers for the men's division. Charlie Caruso is backstage with Rey Mysterio. She asks, she asks about his legendary career and his Money in the Bank match with Murphy next n- next year. Ray talks about how important this 2010, 2010, 2010 was and how can catches and can to end his title reign. 
racist. The point is on is no one knows how dangerous money in the bank is like he does. Um, he respects Murphy, but he says Murphy doesn't want it as bad as he does. Ray says he will put it all on the line next week for the first time. He will be Mr. Money in the Bank, and he will be the one to cash in this year. Ray walks off, and we go back to commercial. Baffling a break. Baffling a break with Seth Rollins is backstage again, staring, staring straight ahead. He says every, everything needs something to have faith in. Um, Seth Rollins wants us to know he is still here for you. Messiah has truly rising his rising, he says. Angel Garza versus Dean the the Hut Miles. Dean also like Angel Gar or Garza was great in the ring, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this match was okay. Um uh, we go back to the to the ring and now comes Angel Garza with his rolls in his teeth. He stops at he stops at a photographer for photography for photographer gives gives her the rose and kisses her on the cheek. She blushes she blushes. Garza enters the ring as NFC superstar Dina D Miles awaits in the ring. The bell rings and they and they have words. They go at it and Garza drop kicks Miles and made her. That was a brutal spot. Garza with a chop to the chest and some and some trash talking as we get a replay of the big drop kick. Um, Garza with more aggressive offense and some trash talking into the camera. Garza now Garza now in his in his trunks keeps Miles grounded in the middle of the ring now. Garza with a big kick to the chest and some showing off on the ropes. Garza grabs Miles in the middle of the ring and delivers the win, win clipper for the pin to get the easy win. The winner of the match, Angel Garza. Man, that that mid-air drop kick was awesome. After the match, Garza stands tall as we get, as we go to replay. We come back and see Selena Vega, see Selena, Selena Vega, Andrade and Austin Theory on the ramp. Theory, Austin Theory and Andrade to join to the ring to join Garza as Vega watches from the ramp. A triple team miles into the corner, and Andrade drops him with the hammerlock DDT, driving from the top. They all taunt Miles as Vega applauds from the ramp. We get another replay as Gar as Garza music hits. The trio puts their fists together again as they stand stand over Miles. Um, Sarah Sarah Screever Sarah Screever is backstage. Austin Kyrie's a now. Sarah congratulates Oscar on qualifying for the Money in the Bank. Oscar laughs and says Ruby Riot was not ready for her. Sarah asks Kyrie Zane about her confident level for the match with Nia Jack. Kooky Warriors do more of their taunting and walk off still to come. Nia Jack versus Kyrie Zane. Back to commercial. Back from the break, and Drew McIntyre is pacing around in the back. Charlie Caruso approaches. And as if he has any comments on what Selena Vega has said tonight, he says point is the scar on his arm. He says he looked at it at least a few times a week, and it reminds him how Johnny almost took everything from him while he previously puts him on the shelf. Drew doesn't forgive and for and forget. He promised to hurt Johnny and promised to Claymore Johnny if he. And if Adriana has to six months off because of, because of him, then so be it. Um, Caruso thanks thanks him and walks off. The Money in the Bank qualifying match: Kari Zane versus Night Jack. This, this this match was garbage. We go back to the ring for tonight's final Money in the Bank qualifying matches. As Kari Zane makes her way out, Night Jack is next. The Bruins not and Jack Jack Lunch staying back to the corner. Kari Zane grabs Nia Jack, but Jack overpowers her. Nia Jack misses a splash into the in the corner. Kari Zane uses her speed to mount some offense. Kari Zane goes to the top, goes to the top of through. Kari Zane turns Nia Jack now. Kari Zane tries to mount mount offense, but she gets barely hurt, hurting. Nia Jack, um, Nia Jack tosses her, tosses her to the floor with one arm. We see Oscar backstage cheering, her, cheering Kyrie Zane on. Oscar is annoying in WWE. She's Oscar is just annoying. Kyrie Zane rolls back, but Nia Jax slams her in the middle of the ring. Nia Jax slams um, Kyrie Zane and talks some trash. 
Kyrie, I mean, Nia Jack levels Kyrie's name with Dan. Nia Jack, continue, Nia Jack continues to dominate and, tr and talk trash to Kyrie's name while she's down. Nia Jack tosses Kyrie's name across the ring by her hair. And again, Nia Jack scoops Kyrie's name and press her um, high above her head, dropping into dropping her into the big Samoan drop. Now called the Anna in a in a ladder. Nia Jack covers for the pen to win to advance to the pay per view. The win of the night after the match, Nia Jack stands tied from music hits. We go to replay. Still to come, Shaw Flair is back to Shaw Flair back to commercial. Back from the break, and out comes the NXT Women's Champion Charlotte Flair. Shaw Flair takes the mic and says, "Tonight is history lesson with the Queen." She talked about winning the World Rumble match and getting to pick her WrestleMania 30 opponent. She she uh, she had already done Raw Women's Champion, Women's Champion, Women's Champion Bailey, plus Warren Warren her. The the biggest and, and the best thing was Rhea Ripley. Uh, Flair says that was ball, bossy and kind of remind of, remind her of someone she knows knows well. But that but that was then and, and this is now and she stands here. As the new NXT Women's Champion, because she beat the big thing, making her Charlotte Flair the biggest thing. Charlotte Flair says Vince McMahon knew she was the biggest thing last year, which is why she picked, which is why he picked her to take the WrestleMania main event. This year, Rhea Ripley picked her because Ripley wants to be the queen. Flair goes on bragging her, bragging about her her win over. Ripley and how good she is. Flair says she's going to remind NXT of humility. The next, the next in line is Il Shirai, who won the latter match. Flair says Shirai, Shirai had a great victory. She's here to teach, teach lessons, not worry about victories. And the number one, and number one lesson is everyone bows down to the queen. Flair delivers a woo and raises the title as her music hits. She makes her exit. All right. Tom mentions Alistair Black. Yeah, Tom mentions Alistair Black, Money to Bank Qualifier, next week against Austin Theory. He looks back at Smith Thursdays and how her husband, Bobby Lashley, and the loss to, to Black. We we also see Lashley post match where, where he said, something tells him he needs a new management or a new wife. Lashley will be on Raw tonight. Back to commercial. Been a break. Tom hypes WWE backstage on FS1. We get a recap of Channel Stop on Sarah Logan. Bobby Lashley works on Wales. And I didn't really care about this match. We go back to the ring, and out comes Bobby Lashley with Lana. No way Jose awaits in the ring. The bell rings and they lock up as Lana cheers her husband on. Lashley fights free of the of the hole and beat up the Jose with the nail balls. Lana cheers him on to hit harder. Lashley drops. No way, Jose. Lana yells at him to keep to keep the offense coming. Lashley takes No way, Jose to the corner and no loads. Lana screams at him some more. Lashley goes to the floor and asks Lana, Lana to please shut the you know what up. And that was that that part. Um, Lana needs to be. Uh, he comes back and and runs into a big boot and then a big punch. Lashley launches No way, No, no way, Jose over his head with a suplex. Lashley is distracted by Lana again. No way Jose comes from behind and rolls Lashley up for a, a two count. Lashley is upset. It's upset. Now as he driven, he tries to no way Jose into the mat. Lashley followed up with a big spear for the pin to win. The win of the match, Bobby Lashley. After the match, Lashley stands tall as his. Uh, after the match, Lashley stands tall and stands tall and has his arm raised as his music hits. We go to replay. Lashley march, marches to the back with Lana. They stop on the stage and Lana raises his arm, but he doesn't look happy. Seth Rollins is backstage again. Rollins has a message to to all the non-believers. You have left him no exit alternative. Um, tonight he stumps out stumps out all the doubts. Uh, we get a quick look at the Viking Raiders and they and they will return the, to the action tonight. Back to commercial. Back from the break. And then, and then announcers hypes next money to be qualifiers. The Viking the Viking Raiders versus Ricochet and Cedric Alexander. This tag team match was good. Ricochet and Cedric Alexander make a great tag team. 
We go we go to the ring and our first come Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. Cedric, Alexander, and Ricochet are out next together. Eric and Ricochet start things off. Eric with the fist with the with the fist big offense to drop Ricochet. Cedric gets dropped drop, gets dropped off the apron. Iwar tags in for the double team, but Ricochet rides with it. Cedric comes in and takes out Eric. Alexander takes down Eric on the floor. And and while Ricochet moonsaults on Ivar for a close two count. Ricochet beats Ivar in the corner. Cedric tags in for, tags in for the double team, but Ivar is too strong. Ivar whips Cedric into the corner hard. They, they their speed is getting their speed is getting the best of Ivar and he and he misses in the corner. Cedric Cedric with a big DDT for a two count on Ivar. He's a double team and beats on Ivar with the quick with the quick tags. Um Eric tags in Eric tags in as Ivar is sent to the floor. Cedric rocks Eric and drops him for a close two count. Cedric goes on and hits a big suplex on Eric. Ricochet launches himself in over the top with a senton on Eric for a, for a two count. Cedric tags back in, tags in, chopping Eric and then um, dropping him with a forearm. Eric ends up on the floor. Cedric launches himself over the top, but he misses on the floor. Eric Eric rolls in and tags in Ivar in. Cedric gets launched top top into the top to his partner. Um, partner on the floor. Ivar runs the ropes and, and nails a suicide suicide to the floor, taking both opponents down. Ivar stands tall and yells out as we go to commercial. Back from the break, and Eric has Cedric grounded in the middle of the ring. Ricochet and Ivar waits for the tag on the apron. Cedric fights up and out, but Eric takes him takes him to the corner. Ivar tags. Tags in for a double team. Eric with a big knee to the face before going back to the going back to the apron. Ivar drops a big big right hand to the face, but but Cedric kicks out. Um, right before the three count, Ivar takes Cedric back to the corner and tags in Eric for more double teaming. Eric works over Cedric in the corner and comes comes Ivar for another quick tag and more double teaming. Eric tags in again, and Ivar slams him. Eric slams Ivar on the top of Cedric. Eric covers for the two count. Ivar tags in once again for more double teaming to Cedric. Who starts out a move and rolls Ivar for a two count. Ivar with a car wheel and two again from Cedric. Cedric. Cedric with a flat line to Ivar out of nowhere. Ricochet and Eric waits for the tags. They come in at the same time and go at it. Ricochet with a crossbody and a kick to Ivar runs in. Cedric fights off both opponents now. Ricochet spring with in a flying with a flying close line to Eric and they shoot star press for a, for a close two count. Cedric tags in but misses the neutralizer on Eric as he ducks. Eric levels Cedric and Cedric ducks Cedric. He lays out. Ivar tags in and hits a CD center on on Cedric. Ivar takes out Cedric. Cedric next. Ivar slams Cedric and hits the low crossbody. Eric tags back. Tags back in as they double team Cedric some more. Eric launches his partner into Cedric while he's down in the corner. Cedric still kicks out to Ivar is, is legal now. Cedric Cedric blocks a double team and fights both Vikings off. Eric blocks the neutralizer again and they level Cedric with a double team, but Ricochet flies out out of nowhere to break the pin up. Ivar with a big spin kick. To, uh, to Ricochet on the back of the of the neck, sending him out to the floor. The the riders the riders boss the Viking experience, experience on Cedric in the middle, but Eric still covers for the pin to win. The winner of the match, the Viking match. This was a great tag team match. After the match, Eric and Ivar stand tall as their music hits. We get replays. Still to come, champion versus champion in the main event. Back to commercial. Back from the break. Back from the break, and Charlie Caruso is is in the back with Raw Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits, Montez Ford, and Angelo Dawkins. Forrest says they didn't come along. He asks for help in welcoming the newest Raw superstar, the the EST Bianca Belair, who is, who he is married to. Caruso congratulates Bianca Belair on officially welcoming her to Raw. 
Caruso says the Viking Raiders just sent a message that they want to take those titles from the Street Profits. The Profits have a lot of respect for the Vikings, not just Eric and Ivar, but all Vikings. They do some com comedy and give them, them a thumbs up. Ella asks why, why and says no. Why they're, why they're doing all this when they last time they beat the Vikings? Zero. She says Eric and Ivar might be cosplaying, but the Prophets gets whooped every time they're in the ring with the with with them. That's facts by Bianca Belair. She tells them to stop with the games and get that smoke. Bianca Belair walks off after delivering some tough love. Drew McIntyre versus Adrande. This was good too. Although Drew McIntyre looks awesome. We go to the ring for tonight's non title champion versus champion main event. Out, and out first comes the WWE United States Champion, Andrade with Selena Vega, Andre and Garza. WWE Champion Drew McIntyre is on next. T talking, talk, uh, talking trash back to the hills as they tell him. Drew and Andrade stares, stares each other down. Drew kneels, kneels down and poses in the ring corner as Andrade raises his title in the air. Vega gets in Drew's face and talks trash. Drew asks Adrani if he's going to control her. Adrani talks Drew and Drew says Adrani is it's his now. He belongs to Drew. The referee restores order and, re and calls for the bell. Adrani strikes first to start does nothing. Drew, st Drew drops him with a big head but Drew takes Adrani to the corner and hits a big chop. Drew with more back Drew with more big strikes in the opposite. Drew opposite in the corner. Drew chops Adrani into the corner as 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 Team Vega talks trash from ringside. Drew catches Adrani with a huge kick in the corner. Adrani goes for the goes to the floor to regroup with um, goes to the floor to to regroup with his partner with his partners. Follows and drops Adrani ribs ribs um ribs first over the burial end. Burial. Drew chops Adrande around the ringside area as the referee counts. Um, Theory and Garza distract Drew talking trash. Drew turns back around and Adrande pulling pulling him shoulder first into the ring post. Adrande turns it around to the floor, beating Drew around into the into the burial. Um, Drew, I mean Adrande brings it back in back in the ring, focus on the arm. Vega looks on and she's all, and she's all smiles. Um, Drew stops her punishment to his arm, to 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 his hurt arm, and sends Adrande to the apron. Adrande with a arm bar using the top rope now. The hole is broken and the referee checks on Drew. Adrande goes to the top and leaves off the top, but Drew catches him. Drew, I mean Adrande fights out of a, a super attempt. Drew levels Adrande with a big clothesline. Drew drops Adrande with a big boot to the face to the face. Drew goes to the top and nails a big right hand on the way down. Drew keeps up as the others look on from ringside while Vega yells at Adrani to get up. Drew manhandles Adrani some more. Adrani avoids the, the future shot DDT and nails, and nails a big elbow. Drew avoids an attack from the floor and back drops Adrani into the theory. Into theory. And, and Angel Garza. Drew follows a chop. I'm sorry. Drew follows follows and chops Adrani above his partners, who are still down. Drew brings it back and goes to the top, but but Vega distracts him from the apron. Adrani catches Drew. He catches Drew. Adrani goes for the top of Hammer DDT at the same move that Drew in NXT, but it's blocked. Drew ends up nailing a big Alabama slam in the middle of the ring. Drew waits for Adrani to get up and taunts him. Adrani gets up and Drew Im immediately flattens him with the Claymore kick. Um, Drew covers for the pin to get a non-title win. The winner of the match, Drew McIntyre. After the match, Drew stands tall as his music hits. Seraphon's music interrupts for a distraction as Adrani takes Drew down with a chop block to, to the knee. Um, Seraphon sits the ring drop Drew with a big shot in the middle of the ring. Rollins delivers the stomp to put... Back, to, to put Drew back down, Ross looks out looks out at the camera while he while we see the WWE title belt laying on the mat. Slow Drew slowly gets back up, but Ross quick puts him right back down with a another with another curse on. Ross goes off the air with Rollins standing tall over Drew McIntyre. So are we gonna get Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins for the WWE for the WWE title? 
I would love to see that. And Ace Torrance and TM is going to agree with me down below in the comment section. Because I'm going to see Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins for the WWE title. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE Raw review and highlights, please drop a like on this video. Share the video also. Share the video all over social media. My Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description. And you guys have a great night. Be with John 25. See you guys in the next video. And I'm out of here.